Well guys, it is an absolutely over-the-top ridiculous day here in the collapse of industry and capitalism as we know it. Today is September 5th. I'm the Doom Wizard in my natural environment. Felt like coming at you with a Doom chat. Some, hmm, entertaining encounters I've had with peoples. Already today I was told that I look like I should go to the beach or I'm a party man. To which my response to the first woman who said this was, yes, I'm partying like this is our last decade. And to the cashier, who also told me this, a 30-year-old woman, um, she said that she f proclaims that she feels fat and has been told that. And so in order to qualm her worries, because I do... I also can suffer with uh, inferiority complex or just seeing really jacked dudes and wondering how what they did to get to that point because no matter what I do it doesn't seem like I can build the mass that I want to. Um, not like it matters because I told her what you need to do is learn how to use an AR-15 platform because it doesn't matter what size you are. Uh, considering what's coming that would be a useful skill to know how to load a magazine, turn the safety on and off you know, basic manual of arms. It would be a useful skill along with fishing and trapping and rucking. Yes, I should go ruck 20 miles. How about you uh, use the PayPal donation link below and help me buy some new shoes. Nothing screams entitlement like narcissism and privilege. I am privileged to be able to speak with you, all right? To have our doom chat in a world of denialists. This place makes me feel at home. You guys' last comments your, your comments on my last couple videos make me feel at home. It makes me feel like I have a place. Because it is an alienating experience. Day in, day out, I also know there's more there's people more alienated than you and I. Terribly so. A person subscribed to my channel, though I'm sure he unsubscribed after he realized the truth that I was presenting. Um, I met a man, Gen Xer. This is my Gen X woes. This is the, this is the part of the segment where I... Lament on clueless fucking morons and uh, paranoid schizophrenia. What really happens is when people are really alienated and isolated from their community and people around them, they start to tip into conspiracy theories and whatnot. And you know all know the types. So there's this guy I met doing yoga the other day who legit told me, after I informed him of the catastrophic change happening around the world, he said, yeah, how about a lot of arsonists, right? Of course, I didn't respond to this because it's just stupid. All right, it's just stupid. My subscribers get this, and yet he's showing me yoga moves, and we're, we're jiving off of each other, but he's meanwhile playing soft, denialist, and telling me, uh, yeah, it's all connected, but but you can't trust universities. You can't trust um, the government or science. Oh, it's even the worst to trust science. As he takes out his smartphone and finds my YouTube channel, I'm certain he's unsubscribed at this point, and I hope so because, yeah, you guys know how I feel about these types. Um, I know there's a point to be said about some people would cause it would cause trauma if they were gone. But I think that trauma is in the short term worth it for the damage that these uh, people in denial, Gen Xers mostly, okay? So you're really about to sit here and tell me that everything I've been studying for the past six years is wrong. You're really not going to, you're, you're really about to do that. Sit here and tell me that everything I've been studying the past six years is wrong. And you can't trust the institutions, can't trust airplanes. It's pandemonium, chaos world. We can't agree on literally anything. So I had that magical encounter recently where you're treading the line between someone you really uh, can't stand, yet you're trying to be cordial, splitting. It's not good for your mental health. And I know a lot of people do it. No, live authentically, live to your true self, how you really feel about things. And make sure it's backed up and validated that it's morally right. 
or as close to. Okay, Gen X woes aside, these extremes around the world have everybody's attention. Uh, we have a double confusion with aliens and climate. Um, the signs of American strife those in, the in terms of civil war, all of the mind. indicators of distrust in their leaders and each other and feeling that according to these polls if you were to compare them back with you know at the turn of the 20th century and now we're on the same trajectory of dis uh disparity and inequality learn how to use an ar-15 platform that's what i told her because that's all that's really gonna matter yeah I know, I hear the warning, warnings from Brookings and whatever institutes that think of, we'll have global recession around 2025. Is it enough to uh, cause loss of aerosol masking and habitat? Hmm, taking a gamble. How about all the people? I know, I know, I hear, I hear you guys watch all the same content, alright? I don't need to re-explain this shit to you. We only got another decade or two. We don't have another Starfield game coming out. You just have, you know this time to party all right it's fun reporting i had to get that off my chest doom wizard appreciates you thank you for this community and if you want me to stream yeah i'm doing it every saturday that's the goal okay it's like 95 degrees out here i'm sweating it's not fun okay heat waves all over the planet um, from the south, wildfires in Louisiana and Florida, Hong Kong, hottest summer, uh, breaking records nonstop. The Atlantic and uh, is like deadlocked at 1.1 degrees Celsius or, or something like like all of our all the graphs are going up and they're staying up. And we're not even full blown in El Nino or solar radiance. But how about them arsonists, right? A lot of arsonists. Okay, damn if you do, damn if you don't. I appreciate you. Right on, Doomer. See ya.